Hello and welcome to Automatically Format Rows. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked for a way to automatically format the rows for all of the past due invoices. In other words, for all of the invoices where the value in column E is equal to yes. So format this, you know, this, these, and this and this, right? But automatically. Okay, so when we're talking about formatting cells automatically based on cell values, we're thinking about conditional formatting. And if you haven't checked out conditional formatting, check it out. There's lots of fun rules and stuff to play with. We're going to look at one sort of narrow, you know, rule of conditional formatting, but there's lots of good stuff to check out. And the basic idea is we would first select the range that we want to conditionally format and then we define the rule. So there's like those two steps. So like we first identify the range and then we apply whatever rule we want. So in this case, we could apply conditional formatting to this range, but what happens next period when we wanna paste in some new transactions under here, then we would have to kind of update the rules. So rather than just apply conditional formatting to this range, we're gonna apply it to all of the rows in columns B through E. Now, before I actually go and apply a rule, I want to note something about the active cell. All right, so, you know, whatever cell that I select, that's the active cell. But when I select a range, you'll notice that there's also an active cell, and it's within this range. It's the upper left, G15. So here's a selected range. Here's an active cell. Um, it doesn't have to be the upper left. If I select my range like that, then the active cell is in the upper right. Here, it's the lower right, here, lower left, here, upper left, you get the idea. And even if I select columns, there's still an active cell. So I wanna select the range and I wanna make a note of the active cell because that's gonna become important in the next step. Now, the next step is to apply our rule. So in this case, we're gonna to go to conditional formatting, new rule. And the rule that we wanna apply is to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the basic idea here is we're going to write a formatting formula. So it's not a formula that's going to be displayed or changing any of these values. It's a formatting for formula. And when that formula returns true, then the selected format will be applied. But we want to write this formula as if we're writing it into the active cell and use uh, cell references, absolute and relative, based on us writing the formula into cell B1. In other words, we need to use absolute and relative cell references in our formula as if we're writing this formula into cell B1, and that when we click OK, that formatting formula is basically filled throughout the remaining range. So in this case, it's equals, and then we want to look at column E, and regardless of which formatting cell here it is, we want to look at column E. So we want to always look at column E, so we're going to use a dollar sign to lock in that E. And that's an absolute reference for column E. And then we want to look at one. Hold on, Jeff, that's not one. We really should be using row eight because that's like the first one. Remember, we're writing this formula as if we're writing it into the active cell. So in terms of this active cell, we want to look at the value in column E, the same row, row one. Okay, so if that value is equal to yes, okay, then we pick the formatting. So click format, pick whatever you like. Pick number, font, border, combination, whatever you want. I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna click okay, and I'm gonna click okay, and now that format is applied as expected. Right? And that's cool. So we save, we close, we move the workbook, you know, or close the workbook, we move on with our life, and life is good. And then what happens next period when we're wanting to paste in some new transactions under here? Okay, so here's the basic idea. Uh, idea. If I do a standard copy and a standard paste, it looks like it's broken. But what really is happening is when I do a standard copy paste, I'm copying not only the cell values, but also a lot of other stuff, including formatting. 
So when I do a standard copy paste, I'm basically overriding the conditional formatting rule. So rather than do a standard copy paste, what I want to do is do a standard copy, but then paste values. And I'm just going to select paste values. There's other ways to do this. We could do paste special values and, and whatnot, but I'm just going to go with paste values. And now the formatting is applied because I didn't replace the formatting. All I did was updated the cell values. Okay, cool. All right. So, hey, that is how to automatically format rows using conditional formatting. And hopefully it helps. Thanks. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 